Max. Minnie, although you caught her anything but Min at your peril, smiled, then frowned. My ex-wife's dimples making my stomach flutter. Same as always. Hi. Just thought I'd come and say goodbye, like I promised. I'm glad you did. I'm always pleased to see you, you know that. Anxious, my best friend and energetic Jack Russell Terrier whined from beside me. Yes, you too, Anxious, laughed Min, bending to ruffle his head. My devoted dog wagged excitedly and sat, knowing the deal. Min reached behind her to the small console table hidden by the front door, then asked, Now what do I have here? Who could this be for? Anxious barked, more than happy to play along with the game. For you? You wouldn't want this, would you? Anxious held up a paw, drool hanging to the step. Min giggled, her long dusty hair sparkling in the early morning light, then gave him his treat. Gentle as always, he took it, then moved over to the generous front lawn and settled down to enjoy his final treat before we hit the road. You're really doing this? I sure am. We're heading off right now. I just wanted to say goodbye. And it's not too late to come along. I chuckled, but meaning it. Nothing would make me and Anxious happier than for the love of our lives to join us on our epic road trip. Don't be silly, I have work. And we aren't even married anymore. No, but we're friends. So you genuinely did it. All you said you would. I did. I know everything was my fault, and I was a nightmare to live with. That's the life of a three-star Michelin restaurant chef. Never home, always grumpy, continually stressed. I was burned out and took you down with me. It took us breaking up for me to realise what an idiot I'd been. But yeah, I quit. I'm done with that life for good. I wasn't sure if you were telling the truth. When have I ever lied to you? How could I? True, admitted Min. That rubbish little house is sold. And you know I've been living with mum and dad for a while until I sorted everything out. But I got rid of the last of the furniture and now it's the open road. Are you sticking to your plan about cooking? Asked Min, still not quite believing I was genuinely doing this. Oh yes, I'm beyond sick of posh food. If I never see a foam or a reduction again in my entire life, it will still be too soon. It's back to basics for me and I absolutely cannot wait. One pot cooking every night. I can't bear to think of faffing around making fancy meals a moment longer. It's freedom. A new start. A new me. No more grumpy chef. Now I'm able to do whatever I want. Including growing your hair. You look so different. And the beard. You've got grey streaks in with the brown. Tell me something I don't know. It's been short for so many years that I never realised. But I guess brown with a smattering of grey makes me look distinguished, right? <laughs>